ADHD or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Am I talking to you? Am I talking to me? I got ADHD. It's about anything. It's about everything. It's ADHD. ADHD with Travis Mills. I got my buddy David Dobrik in the studio. What's going on, man? What's up, guys? Up in the studio. We, Travis oh. and I haven't talked since I've sat down because we were saving it for now. Yeah, I just told him to stop. You look good today. I like your outfit. <laughs> I've been holding that in for fucking 12 minutes. Thanks, dude. So do you, man. Thank I don't think so we've ever hung out without you wearing merch, your own merch. Well, I have to. That's that's honestly, that's my main income. <laughs> and I don't own any other clothes. <laughs> it's legendary. Uh, and you got the clickbait socks on. Clickbait socks. You got the backpacks now? I would have I had my clickbait underwear on, but it's it only comes in thongs. So I, it's hard for me to wear because it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> but yes, we do sell backpacks now as well. I saw, and you guys print on the inside of the backpacks. Yeah, we don't mess around. No, no. <laughs> it's the highest quality backpack you can get and you on, know, on I, the merch website. I, this is not uh, this is not sponsored either. This is all truth. Right 100%. Here. Yeah. yeah. This is, no one paid me to say this. <laughs> uh, how's life, dude? I appreciate you coming down. It's so cool. I mean, life's cool and everything's good. It's uh, What I was going to say is it's cool being on someone else's podcast because, uh, I mean, I, I do a podcast. <laughs> Look, I'm already plugging. Views. <laughs> Views. Um, and, um, and it's just because it, it, when you do a podcast, you like have to take charge, right? Yeah. So you have to like, you have, you have to be interviewing and it's really cool to be on the other side. Like, I feel so relaxed. I'm yeah, like, you just, oh my God, this is going to be a cakewalk. <laughs> it's all up to me to fuck this up. A hundred percent. You know like, what I mean? If you stop talking, then I'm, I'm not going to say a word. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, oh, he's done. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to walk out. Do you like having a co- host on your podcast? No, nah, man. I don't know. I, he kind of fucking sucks. No, no, he's great. Um, no, I love having a co-host. I mean, if it was up to me, I'd have more co-hosts because the less talking I have to do. Sometimes I, I don't get the people that do podcasts and they're just by themselves. Dude, that, right? My, yeah. Chris D'Elia does that. Chris D'Elia, and yeah. It's like straight to camera and I'm like, <laughs> how do you do that? But he's a comic, so I feel like he has tons of material that he can- 100%, but it's still so fucking scary. Definitely. I've, I've listened to a podcast. I don't know who it was. I don't know if it was like Bill Burr. I don't know who- but he was like, his like kid was sleeping in the other room. So he was like whispering the entire time. Wow, he was doing the podcast. Yeah. And it was just like, it was like, he's take, he's doing it so casually. Like when I do it, like every, everyone has to be silent in the house. Everything has to be perfect. It can't be raining outside. It has to be like the perfect like conditions for it. But like, it's so cool how these people literally just turn on a podcast and start talking for an hour and a half, like whatever they're talking about. I don't know. I just find it interesting. When you go into a podcast, do you guys have a specific thing that you want to talk about or you just let, you just let it fly? So, yeah. So we, uh, that's the problem is we, we literally have nothing else to talk about because we put everything <laughs> on YouTube and we've literally, we've literally talked about everything there is to talk about in our own lives. So sometimes we pull up news stories and things like that. But, um, but yeah, it's it's really tough. Sometimes we just turn the podcast off and we continue in like 30 minutes. We take a break because we literally can't come up with anything else to talk about in that 40 minute span. Oh, damn. Yeah. That's it's, nice that you have that freedom though. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is great. Because we're not like, yeah, we're not we're not at a studio. So we're not like, oh, we only have an hour here. Then, then we'd be screwed. All I have a question. would be 10 minutes long. I got a question because I was watching your vlogs today and you gave, uh, you gave one of your friends a car. Sure. Okay. And you're vlogging the whole thing. Yes. Do you ever like want to put the camera down and just in, like just kind of just live no. it, or is it more rewarding to film like to film it? No, it's so much more more rewarding to film it, and I enjoy things more when I'm filming it. I never, yeah, I, I, I well, I understand when people are like, "Hey, you should, uh, you should live in the moment more," but like my living in the moment is capturing it on film. Like that's so cool. Like I can go home and I can watch it, and now it's up on the internet forever, and it's like a video diary. Like that's. That's how I succeeded in my day is knowing that I've, I've captured something cool. How does it feel to give someone a Mercedes? It's awesome. How the hell is David Do Dobrik going around just giving people Mercedes? Uh, me and SeatGeek, the, the best brand ever. No, it's, um, I don't know. I'm really lucky. We give we gave away uh, seven cars this year. I was going to say, this isn't the first time you've done it. No, I, I bought eight cars this year. And that was the seventh we've been away. Yeah, it's nuts. Did you ever think that you'd just be giving away no. cars to people? <laughs> no, it's so cool. I was just, I was laying in bed the other day. I'm like, whoa, what's happening? It's so exciting. It's the best to give things to people. Like, it's the best. It's so much better than receiving anything. It's like, oh my God. I, and I when they get explain. the car, they, I mean, it's literally theirs. Like you hand them the keys. hundred percent. It's theirs. They don't, yeah, they don't, there's no secret payments. You can't hit them up for rides when you want. <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> no, it's not a lease or anything like that. It's, yeah, it's fully their car, fully paid for. Um, no, it's great. Um, Does that make things tricky with your other friends and family? Like when holidays come around or birthdays? I think I've gotten to the point where everyone who who is like super close to me has gotten a car. Oh my God. So I don't I don't need any, I don't need to give anybody else anything. I don't owe any, anybody anything. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, no, it, at first it was kind of awkward because like, okay, well, this guy hasn't gotten in the car, but now I think it's the playing, the playing field is all evened out. What's the weirdest thing you've gotten somebody? <laughs> the weirdest thing I've gotten someone? Yeah. I got someone an alligator, but it was only for a little bit. It was only just- so you, rent, you rented an alligator? Yeah, this like huge, like 14 foot alligator, like big ass, like, like an, a proper alligator I put in their living room. And, and he was very sweet, very sweet. He's, he was like a dog. You can tell him to like- like Roll over? I don't know if you could tell him to roll over. <laughs> oh, oh, you could, if you're, if you're smaller, you could sit on his back and he'll give you a ride around uh, the living room. It was very, very cool. He's like a real alligator. I'm not, he's not like a little baby guy that, you know, those zoo people bring around. He was like a big one in a van. It was, it was awesome. I want to talk about your videos because what I love about them is there's really no structure. Yeah. Right? Like it's not like, hey, yeah. I'm going to do this and then this and this. It's just kind of like, ugh. Sure, sure. Uh, what made, is that like a conscious decision for you to do that? Is that just how you've always edited? Is that how you've always created? Yeah. I mean, it's just like, I think I took that from Vine and like I realized on Vine, I have, this is your podcast is called ADHD, right? Yeah. This is the worst place to do it. We're literally sitting in a room that's all glass and it opens up to all of Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> and I am looking around. I just saw a fucking bird. Like, and there's I lost a flag. My yeah. It's, it's You see literally all of LA <laughs> and I'm trying to hold a conversation here. Um, okay. What were you saying? Oh, the videos. Yeah. So like on Vine. That's why this is called ADHD. Cause I can't even fucking remember what I asked you. <laughs> um, yeah. On Vine, uh, six seconds was the thing. And I kind of took, I took something from there is like, people don't want to watch things for too long. So, so when I edit the vlog, I make sure that I'm only in one place for like tops 30 to a minute. They already turned this off. This is already, yeah. No oh, one's yeah. watching I, this now. So we're good from here on out. We can say whatever the hell we want. Yeah, we're not even recording at this <laughs> point. No one listens. Uh, that, that's why I was so surprised about podcasts. Like when my buddy first brought him up to me, he's like, he's like, yeah, podcast, uh, people people love them. I'm like, how long are they? He's like, like 50 minutes, sometimes even an hour, uh, hour or two. And I'm like, are you fucking serious? I, I, I did not know how to wrap my head around that at all. And I still don't. I haven't listened to a single podcast because it's just like, it sounds horrendous. Really? Oh, see, I'm a huge fan and and- I can see where people are like two hours, three hours. Like, cause when you get into it, it's like, you don't want it to end. But what are you doing during that time? Driving. I, Huge time is like driving. Uh, really? I spend a lot of time in my car. So yeah, I don't listen to music anymore when I'm driving. Oh, wow. Because I play so much music on, on my show, you know, my Apple oh, music 100%. show. Okay. And then I'm in the studio and I'm making music. So like when I get out of there. You're like a porn star. Like you can't have regular. Like, yeah, you can't, porn you stars, can't have regular sex anymore. Do you think porn stars just have casual sex all the time? I think I think it has to be different. It has to be different when you have casual sex. Cause like I've I've seen behind the scenes of a porn video and it's work. Dude, that oh my god, yo, you literally uh you were filming one of your friends. I think his name's Dom. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm that's what I meant by behind the scenes of okay, a porn video. Yo, so I wanna know that's all real. hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, you're talking about my video this you, morning. Uh yeah, you just put out a video this morning. <laughs> yeah. I'm the biggest David Dover. <laughs> like and subscribe. You're talking about the video I posted 20 minutes 20 ago. 20 minutes ago before I was <laughs> sitting in the bathroom before you came over here. Um, um, yeah, my uh, my buddy Dom made an Instagram story and he's like, I want to have a five some tonight, hit me up. And this girl hit him up and she's like, I have friends. And she sent over all her friends' Instagram links. And he's like, yeah, come through. And seven of them ended up showing up. And then they all, they, they were, when they all got there, they were like, oh, no, 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 I don't have sex. I don't have sex. And then- and Like then, blatantly in front, of, in front of everybody. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, yeah, they didn't want to have sex, except, except two of the girls wanted to have sex. So he just ended up having a threesome, which was still his first threesome and it was very exciting for him. So I-, I Well, you guys sent it. like three of your friends in to confirm it was happening. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, was, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have sex with them unless we, unless we saw it with our own eyes, so. Is that like, is, is Dom your friend that just, is he like the playboy of the group? Not the playboy. He's like the the gross, like the gross <laughs> kid who will have sex with anything. Um, no, maybe he's the playboy, depending how you look at it. Um, I don't know. Yeah, but it, that was that was definitely a gross video. I feel like I think that's maybe the most interesting thing about my videos is like one video you'll get like the surprising a friend who, ju who just came out of the just closet. Cue the violins and yeah, shit. Yeah, like adorable. And then literally the next video was my friend having a threesome all sweaty and <laughs> disgusting. So I was going to ask, you didn't spray, like he didn't get sprayed down. Like that was all real. No, he's, dude, he was <laughs> soaked. You should, I mean, the bed was disgusting. It was, <laughs> the whole thing is horrendous. Um, no, it, it's, it's super real. That's why it's so fun is because You're these are real. Him. Yeah, the, the, yeah that too. <laughs> he's just an enabler. And he, and he loves it. Uh, we actually shot that two days ago. So I, I, I waited to post it. Um, 
because it was supposed to go on my Monday vlog, but I waited till Wednesday. And he like texted me. He's like, yo, man, are you going to put that up? Can you please put that up? Because he's like, every time you put something oh, he up. He wanted you to. Yeah. He's like, every time you put something up about me having sex, um, a lot more girls hit me up. So please put that up. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, I got you. <laughs> Has there been anything you put in the vlogs that that one of your friends or some, you know, that you've been like, oh shit, I shouldn't have done that? No, because I'm always I'm always pretty good on asking them for permission about things. Um, there have been times where they like didn't let me use stuff, um, and I honestly can't even remember at the time I had what it was. But they're they're really good about letting me use almost everything, and that's why it's so cool. Is because like one of my favorite moments was we were on our way to a baptism, and uh, for this like. A 10 year, 11 year old. His name is Vardan. And I see. And you're always at their house. Yes. You guys are doing the fire. St- you make fire, fire stuff. stuff. Make fire. You make- <laughs> um, yeah, we were on. A- sound like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Everyone listening is like, okay, I'm done. I'm <laughs> out. Bye. <laughs> um, no, yeah, we were, uh, we were on his way to his baptism. And my friend, um, Corinna, gives my friend Todd a blowjob in the backseat of my Tesla. Like all while, while it's a full car of people. And like, I start recording and it's just like so much fun because it's so real and like everybody's reacting. It's like, it's the best. Where are you finding these friends at, David Dobrik? I don't know. I got so lucky. Every friend of mine has like something wrong with them. <laughs> and that's like the best part. We all have so many issues that it, together it makes one really big, good video. <laughs> oh my God. Um, is there ever a time where you guys are hanging out and the cameras aren't on? Oh yeah. All the time. Literally all the time. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's how you, that's how you get to the point where you start. You have to hang out to record those. I was going to say what I love about you guys. Like when I went to Scotty's, you know, listening party, like literally every one of you guys were there. Yeah. A hundred percent. You know, yeah. it was like true support. And it's really cool to see. You have to, you have to also hang out with, um, with everybody to start filming. Do you know what I mean? Like you, like it's very rare where I'll show up somewhere and I can just get straight to filming and it works. It, you have to like break the ice and literally just just hang out, let it let it come to you. So that's why, like a lot of times when I when I tell my assistant, she yells at me because I'm like not doing anything. I'm like I'm like even though I'm just hanging out with my friends, like I'm je- I'm waiting for something. Like I'm waiting for something to happen. Like I am working, even though it seems like I'm literally sitting on a couch. Your whole life is just lived in suspense. <laughs> yes, well, of when to record. That's the best way to put it. Yeah, I do vlogs on YouTube. By the way, I feel like we should have <laughs> set that up. People are like, so does he direct porn <laughs> or? <laughs> Does he, <laughs> David? Dur- yeah. How would you describe yourself? You know what? Like one of the the hardest questions to answer ever is, you know, what do you do? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's tough. I mean, I, I mean, I guess I would say I'm a YouTuber. That's what I say, like right off the bat. I'm like, I'm a YouTuber. Um, I really want to get away from that, and I kind of want to be like, I'm. I do this. I just do stuff. Like that'd be. Cool. You wouldn't say like creator. No, I don't like creator. I I, I really like um personality. I like mm. that word that the best. I feel like that's so simple. It's like, what? And then you're like, yep, that's it. I'll see you later. <laughs> but like YouTubers, like YouTubers. You don't such- think that's downplaying like your your ability to film and edit in, in you YouTuber? Know, piece- yeah, no, no, no. Uh, uh, personality. Uh, no. No? I, I think YouTuber could be downplaying sometimes. Mm. I think YouTuber, there are so many incredible YouTubers out there, but there's also a lot of ones that like, that maybe aren't so great. And it's like, it, right now it has like a negative connotation to it, I think, YouTuber. So I think personality holds more weight when it comes to job title. Don't you think something like, I mean, it's inevitable when something gets so big, like it almost always turns negative, right? Like 100%. Instagram, if you're popping on Instagram, oh, she's, she's an Instagram model. Oh, she's just- That is my biggest fear. That's the, the only reason I want to stop making vlogs is because of that. Because I am scared for the day where it's like, okay, we've had a fucking enough of this guy. I'm turning on this guy. I don't want to see anything of him. That's my biggest fear. And that's why I want to stop it. While while it's doing solid, but then I think about like, damn, you want to like go out? <laughs> you're you're like one of those uh like with those boxers that retire like in their prime, like before like losing. Oh my god, shit. dude! I would I wanted to stop vlogging. I think it was a hundred vlogs ago uh, for my four twentieth video. Um, four twenty, bro. Yeah, we pitched the show to we pitched the show to Netflix and it didn't go through, so I couldn't stop vlogging because I literally had no other job. <laughs> been um, there, been there. Yeah, um, but when yeah. you're walking in to pitch a show. You're walking into Netflix, right? Sure. For everyone listening. That was in uh, the offices, this huge fucking yeah. building. Yeah, right down the street. We can see the building you from here. You can see here. it literally. <laughs> Did you? Whoa. Holy shit. Look yeah, at that dude. fucking bird. People are just... <laughs> Did that bird just piss on the window? I don't know. Yeah. He's doing, I think he's waving at us. <laughs> <laughs> so when you walk into a huge boardroom like that, and you know, there's everyone from Netflix there, what, like, what's going on in your head? Uh, I just go, oh my God, these people aren't going to care about me. I just go, these people, they're not going to give me a shot. Really? Yeah. But like, you're in there. You got the meeting. Yeah. But that's that's my agents and my managers and my following that gets me in the meeting. But it's like to convince 
these execs and like these people that don't know anything about YouTube is very difficult. It's like very, it, it's very difficult to go into Netflix and be like, hey, I'm David. And I, I promise I can, I can make a good show. And then they look at you like, you're a YouTuber. You can't fucking do that. <laughs> you do it every day. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, but I mean, can you tell me what the show? Do you, do you can you yeah, talk about? Like, oh what yeah, the show I mean, the, sh the show we pitched to them was um, it was called David's Frat House, and it was basically it was basically I went out and bought a frat house because none of my friends ever went to college or me. Uh, I didn't go to college. Did and you feel like you missed out? On like a, a little part of your life, I didn't. I didn't go to college either. I'm like the least f like frat dude. No, period. no, I don't think I missed out, but I still go back enough where it seems like I'm, I. I think I missed out. Like I, I visit so often, like USC and stuff to film. Um, it actually kind of sucks because sometimes the kids come up to me and they're like, "Why are you here?" And I'm like, "Fuck, stop asking me that. I'm trying to get." footage really <laughs> yeah yeah i i like you know i played a bunch of colleges and stuff on tour and like it's for one you know when i'm there for one night it's like damn i, I kind of wish but then you leave, oh, like no i'm happy one yep, night yeah. one night is all you need yeah. one night every three weeks for me is great one night every two weeks is great um but yeah no okay so it's a david's frat house and um yeah basically I, I bought a frat house on frat row and it's just us going through the school system without actually going to school so it's us competing with these frats that are next to us that would be like real frats and i'd surprise my friends with a frat house and it'd just be i mean the frat house would be the like the nucleus of the show but it still would be very much like my videos where we would be going you know to the store to chipotle out the street to events it'd be just like that'd just be the the center hub of the entire show and I think that would be really interesting. There's a lot more, obviously, that goes into it, but that's like the general premise. You can't give it away. You can't give it away. Netflix is watching this. They're reconsidering right now. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, they don't care. Um, but yeah. And, and how'd you come up? You, I mean, you obviously came up with the idea because you didn't go to college. And you were going to, this was not going to be like a scripted show. This is going to be like a re no, reality it, show? Yeah, it was going to be, not like reality. It was going to be exactly like my videos. So okay. it was, was going to be like kind of play it by ear kind of basis. It was like going to be like jackass, like bad grandpa kind of thing. Like, like scripted, like my videos. Light, light, lightly. Yeah, like my videos are scripted to like, like let's say someone's getting set on fire, right? Like they're getting set on fire, which we obviously don't know how it's going to go. Our reactions are real. Everything we say after is real. But but then once in a while, we'll sprinkle a little joke where we'll be like, oh, this will be funny, say this. But like that's as far as we'll go as to scripted. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it'd be, for the, it'd be you know, 85% just real. Um, I, stuff. I saw another one of your videos where you like orchestrated like uh, Kendall Jenner and all yeah. of her friends to come. How the hell did you do that? And like what like what was you know the inspo behind all that? Yeah, um, I got I got really lucky. I guess uh, uh, Kendall DM me uh, like a week and a half, two weeks before um, Zayn's birthday, and then uh, then I got a Facetime from her that morning of Zayn's birthday. So I was like, oh, this is perfect. So they came by, and um, is Zayn like a huge? He's a huge fan. You just yeah. To oh fuck yeah. With him. yeah. Okay. And I wanted to fuck with him. Okay. Yeah. No, he was so his, he called his mom and his mom started crying because she like loves the, the whole Kardashian. Thing. Yeah. Um, I met Kris Jenner, uh, and took a picture with her. I met Kanye, Kim and Chris on the same night and only took a picture with Chris. They're actually really dope. Yeah. Like, it's insane what they've yeah. done. It's insane what they've done. And all, like all I keep hearing is how Chris Jenner is like the brains of this operation. Mm -hmm. How she's like, I, it's, it blows my the mind. The momager, the momager. Um, no, but yeah, it was great. Oh, yeah, her, uh, Kaya, Charlotte, Kendall, and Harry came over, and they're all they're all so such great people. And we just decided we wanted to plan a birthday party for him, and we did it, and it turned out great. And Scotty broke his. Scotty broke his. Yeah, Scotty broke his leg because <laughs> we got a mechanical bull in my backyard, and then he g hopped on it, and I wasn't filming. I was inside or something. You missed it the one time. <laughs> the, the poor guy breaks his leg and I miss it. Yeah. And yeah. So now he's now he's on bed rest for a while. He's going to be in bed for a long time. Do you go in there and fuck with him? Like when he's... No, he lives so far. I, <laughs> dude, I re everyone moved away from me. I, I, I rarely see these people. They all moved to different homes. How many up. different places have you lived uh, since you came to LA? Two. Two. Yeah. I moved, I moved straight to an apartment on Hollywood. Like on a, a Hollywood and Highland, like I, I feel like everybody does that. 100%. It's like the the mecca for you have to go there because you have to get your feet wet in like the worst part of LA. It's like it's, <laughs> meet all the shitty people first. It's horrible. It's horrible in there, and that's why I love it. I still to this day am so obsessed with it. I remember I saw my parents. I was moving to LA, and they were like, "What are you saying? Like, what are you? What are you, what are you gonna move to? What are you gonna move on Hollywood Boulevard?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." I'm like, "Yeah, literally exactly on Hollywood Boulevard." Yeah, I told you this, and like, <laughs> and um. And yeah, I've been, I lived there for like two years and I, I still pay rent at the apartment with my two other roommates. I, I really, really like that place. I'm obsessed with it. Cause it's like, 
It's right in the middle of everything. So much happens there. And so you still have that place. Yeah, still have that and place. And you go, you go back? And yeah, I, I, I'm there, you know, every other day, yeah. Wow, that's incredible. I'll go there right after this to shoot, yeah. Nice. It's great. Um, and yeah, and then I moved to my house in Studio City, which I, I love so much. I've been very lucky with the things I've purchased, like my house and the apartment I've rented and my car, I am just so in love with, like to a very scary point where I shouldn't be. But I'm, I'm very lucky. I think that's good very, though, man, because I mean, you've yeah. obviously worked so hard for everything that you have and, and it's important to reward yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, life coach Travis Mills <laughs> on the next episode. <laughs> no, I'm no, going, no, no, but I, I know you. I appreciate uh, well, look, it. I'm you. going. I'm going through this thing right now where, like, you know, I I feel like for a while I was just buying a whole bunch of useless shit just to buy it. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's like, why? Like, why? Well, how much are your clothes? That, so that's what. Because <laughs> like this does not look like it was cheap. Uh no, dude. You want to know one thing? I'm really good at though is You're shopping. Oh, okay. I'm amazing at shopping. If you, you need like new a, clothes. You look like a guy who gets a lot of like free stuff from companies. I do. Yeah, okay. I do. So how much did you pay for this outfit right now? Uh, oh, fuck. Really? Uh, f- All right, let me preface this, okay? No, I don't want to hear the <laughs> okay. preface. I don't know. A thousand dollars? Really? Yeah. That is a lot. No, no. For the whole outfit? Yeah. No. You want to know something? Dude, I know, but you make all of it. Every every single thing on me right now has been free. given to me for free. For free. These Nike shoes I got at VidCon. Clickbait socks. It's my merch. These Under Armour. How'd pants, you get the Nike socks or the Nike shoes at VidCon? They were just giving out shoes at VidCon. And then this hoodie is my merch, and then under it is a shirt of my merch. And this, these Under Armour pants I get. Uh, under Armour sends me some clothes, so it's free. I w- no. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Look, I'm I, cheap. Huh? <laughs> I'm, I'm really cheap. No, dude. I, and, and you know what? I, no, I, dude, I envy that. Like you have, like, I would love to be able to like go out and like spend money on clothes, but like, I just, I have no fashion sense at all. This is really, you look dope. Like, congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, bro. It was worth a thousand dollars. To impress me this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I dressed up for David Dobrik. Yeah, today. no, I love it. Yeah. Uh, no, dude, I, I'm like literally addicted to shopping. But look, like the way I grew up, I grew up, I didn't have like a ton of money. So I had to like look cool off nothing, right? So 100%. I grew up going to like fucking uh, vintage stores and, you know, like those are, those are resale still the places. Best though, right? 100%. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, if you like really know what you're looking for and if you can scour the internet, like I am and, and open up like 60 tabs at once, yeah. you know, you can uh, you can do some serious, some that, serious shopping. That sweatshirt looks like it's never been worn before. Is that true? It, it, it's, it looks like it's not, it's not folded correctly. Like it looks like you just pulled it out of the package. <laughs> Are you one of those guys that wears things once? Dude, and I'm like- so, no, oh my God. I'm the, I'm so neurotic. Yo, my girlfriend, she'll go and buy a fucking, you know, like a nice sweater. I never and wear it, it. No, no, no. It's like, it's like 7 PM, you know? And she'll just like, she'll put on a brand new nice sweater for like to go to dinner for 30 minutes. Right. I'm the type of dude where like, I'll leave it in the package with the fucking tags on until like I have a whole thing like ready to go. Like I want to make use of my shit, you know? Oh, really? Because if I get like, dude, I got fucking two little things right here. Oh no. Yeah. I noticed that when I walked in, I'm like, I don't want to do Right. This You're like, I'm out. Fuck this podcast. <laughs> he has two stains on it. Two pants. stains. And it, uh, you know, it almost, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be less neurotic uh, about my clothes and then just be more mindful about what I purchase. Okay. A hundred percent. Do you, do you, uh, do you spend a lot of money on cars? Nope. No, no. Very, very. Sen- I have, I have a nice car, but my lease is incredible, and it's obviously a business what expense. About, yeah, what we're about- gonna get real boring and adult here. For- hey, welcome to your taxes with David Dobrik and Travis Mills. Oh, taxes! Holy shit! Holy shit! Wicked! Yeah, I thought you were about to be doing your taxes. Yeah, I told Travis I was just gonna be doing taxes uh, this entire time, <laughs> but um, my tax guy isn't responding. No, but you are the one that's inspired me to. Uh, oh, they're doing the y- oh YMCA time. It's time for ads. This all right? Wow. This is gonna go. We already got awesome. there. Yeah, hit it. All right. Uh, <laughs> well, today's ad is brought to you by Mac Weldon. Do you know about Mac Weldon? No, but please tell me. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's it's underwear, and uh, oh, I fuck. really I really need underwear. Uh, Mac Weldon believes in smart design, premium fabrics like myself, uh, and simple shopping. Uh, it's really easy to go online, uh, check out all the great products, add them to your cart. Uh, Mac Weldon will be the most comfortable underwear, socks, shirts, undershirts, hoodies, and sweatpants, and more that you will ever wear. They also have a line of silver underwear and shirts that are naturally antimicrobial, 
which means that you're not going to stink as much yeah. after you get done with. I'm wearing them right now. I, I, they had me put them on before I came in and they feel really good. Well, you know, they want you to it's be It's really tight around my junk. Actually, Travis, I'm going to show you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a sensor bar up here? Uh, and they want you to be comfortable. So if you don't like your first pair, uh, if you poop in them, you can keep them and they will still refund you. Really? That's crazy. Oh my God. Right? Uh, no questions asked. Not only does Mack Weldon's underwear, socks, and shirts look good, they perform well too. You can work out in them. Uh, you can go to work on, you know, work in them. Uh, you can go on dates. You can come I, on my I podcast. Actually, I actually just shit myself right after you said that. <laughs> They're going to give you another pair right, right now. <laughs> Please call them. Uh, no, but for real, I needed some uh, underwear and I was uh, shopping around on Black Friday and I found Mack Weldon and I ordered a whole bunch uh, because that is something I really need. I go through, uh, you, know what, you know what's weird is I spend a ton of money on clothes <laughs> sure <laughs> i'm not even kidding right now no 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 but I'll, I'll like have the same underwear and socks forever and i won't throw them away yes underwear and socks i've had for maybe seven years <laughs> <laughs> mine don't fit me mine That's, it's yeah. getting really tight down there oh man uh well my if, penis is actually <laughs> shrinking <laughs> well if you need uh if you need some new uh some new underwears you can get 20 percent off your first order visit macweldon.com enter promo code a d h d at checkout uh, and you can visit them on Instagram, Instagram.com slash Mac Weldon, Facebook.com slash Mac Weldon underwear, and Twitter.com slash Mac Weldon. Sounds amazing. Oh, right? that's it. That was it? That's it. Oh, that was so easy. So easy. Oh my God. I was scared. It feels good, to be honest. Right? I'm so, I, can we read it all over again? You want to just do it again? <laughs> <laughs> can we get 10 more copies? <laughs> One oh. podcast, I'm just going to have my, I'm going to have a bunch of guests and just hand them ads. Uh, it's going to be 50 minutes people, of ads. People actually enjoy ads. They enjoy ad reads for some reason. I, every time I do an ad, they're like, yeah, keep doing more. You made that really fun. Oh, you, 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 I like that. You listen to my podcast? Yeah. Oh my God. You know what? Uh, I actually, so when I, when I started this podcast, uh, I had to record like an intro, you yeah. know, kind of like talk about like what it, what it was. Yeah. And it's eight. I don't know what the fuck it is. Cause it's just about a bunch of shit and it's like cool people like yourself, you know, coming 100%. on and talking. Yeah. So I actually went to, to your, your guys's, uh, little, your first episode. That's like a minute. It's a minute and a half, two minutes. Oh, sure. Where okay. you guys are just talking about, you don't even remember this nope. shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I want, you know, I got sent some examples and I just thought that like, I thought they were, some of them were corny. And so I was like, I want to check out what you guys did. And yeah, you guys straight to the fucking point. Yeah. What do we say? In, you're like, Hey, what's up? This is views. Our new podcast just might suck. It might not. Oh I mean, yeah. hundred yeah. percent. Oh, that's still our motto. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't changed since day one. That's nice to know. Um, yeah. How, what's the most, uh, have you, have you guys had any guests? No. No? We'll, we'll have like Trisha sitting on the couch. I like, was going to say, because you said you guys have just people sitting around. They don't ever hop on the mic or do that? Um, very rarely they'll say something. But no, we've never had like a, a proper guest yet. Um, I'm still kind of scared to do that. I don't know why. Why? I don't know. Because once you, uh, I feel like right now, like the, the, the problem with you interviewing me is what stresses me out. I suck. Is you're fucking I'm horrible. awful. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is like, I, I'm... I, if I was you, I'd be stressed out. I'd be like, fuck, I have David in here and I have this music audience. And now I, people are going to, half of the people aren't going to listen to this shit because he's a YouTuber. Like that's what stresses me out. Really? Yeah. A hundred percent. Like I'm scared to have guests because right now it's just me and Jason. And like, we don't play the YouTuber card much on our podcast. We're very much just a 45 year old guy and 22 year old How did you guys boy. meet? Um, I met him at a comedy club. Okay. Yeah. In LA? Yeah. I mean, that's where I first like, yeah, first started talking to him and I was like, come by and come film something. And was he doing stand up there? Yeah, he did stand up. He did a set and I thought it was funny. And I was like, can you come, can you come do that on my vlog or something? And then he came over the next day and then we just, so we started filming ever since. And so you, you were the one who kind of inspired him to start a YouTube channel? Or he had yeah, one, yeah, he had yeah, one yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, 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 he de definitely started because he started filming with us. Um, but yeah, no, I always get stressed out because I'm like, what if, what if my audience doesn't like this particular guest and they're not, not going to like this podcast? Like, I'm a fucking YouTuber. Like, wait, 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 you know what I mean? Like, who knows? I, but you know, what's crazy is being a fan of podcasts is like what I found is how big of a fan of just random fucking people I've become from listening to them talk you, you for like an learning, hour yeah, and, you, and an hour and a half, you, you know, like learning about new people. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, if if they if they can hold a conversation and you know they're not total dumbasses. I feel like I feel like in that case, like I I understand that, but I feel like I should have been like at the beginning and be like, hey, I'm 22 years old. I'm a YouTuber. I was born I'm doing it now. Yeah. <laughs> but uh but yeah, like I, I don't know. I just I feel bad sometimes. And that's why I'm scared of guests. Well, see, I'm scared of YouTube. 
Why? Why? Yeah. Well, because look, I had a YouTube when I was tw- like when I first started music. I made a YouTube and I would post like my tour uh, vlogs. Sure. You know, like my my date like daily vlogs or whatever. Uh, and that was cool because I had a videographer and he edited them and just followed me around. One hundred percent. Yeah. Then YouTube switched, oh, and sure. then it became straight to camera. Oh, uh, do you yeah. know what I mean? So like my shit like in the beginning is more documentary, and like now that is something that is like so. Like, I'm not uncomfortable, but it's the same thing. It's like, my I feel like my fans there want music, not me to be talking to a camera. Yes. You know? Yeah. But it's like, I do so much other things. Like, it's like, I don't just want to just like yeah. put up audio, you know? But at the end of the day, like, if if like, if a, a guy of film filming you, like a video guy walking around with you is like, what makes your content yours, then that's what you should do. You know what I mean? Like, that's like- It was like eight years ago. Uh, yeah. I'm old. Oh, I some some I should skip the speech right now. No, 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 no. I need all the help I can get. No, David I mean Dober. literally just do whatever you do. I, the worst thing is when people try to copy or replicate a YouTuber. Mm. It's not gonna fucking work. Yeah, like there already is a Casey Neistat. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? There already is an Emma Chamberlain. Like you can't don't replicate that. Like maybe take something from it and be like, oh, this works. So I'll take this, but definitely make it your own style. It doesn't matter. Like if you're filming yourself with a toaster, like if it's something new <laughs> and you seem like you're enjoying yourself, then other people will enjoy themselves watching you. You know what I have a hard time with? I have a hard time with faking shit. I can't, like, I can't, if I don't feel like fucking be like, hey, what's up, God? I can't do that. Then don't. No, I know. No, I know. You <laughs> asshole. No. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, definitely don't. I mean, you're good on your podcast and there's no fucking way. Like every time I came in like maybe twice or three times here uh, to the Beats thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And My like Apple ev- Music Beats one show. Every time you're like, what's up guys? It's Travis. It's just, there's no way you feel like that all the time. You know what I mean? You put it on a little bit. You put on a little bit of a show. Well, there it's cool because I feel like I'm almost like DJing a set. Yeah. I'm about to play music and shit. But like, that's all it takes. It takes like seven seconds to set up a scene. Maybe you need a little bit more energy than you normally do. You're, you're already great at it. Like I, you could have, you could have Thanks. literally ran over three people this morning and I probably wouldn't even know. Cause you're just like in the zone. So I did, it ran over four people this morning. Well, that's it was, why. It was ran- Dan, I need you around all, dude, you just, I'm going to text you when I'm depressed. But cheer up, Travis. You're doing great, buddy. <laughs> just send you voice messages. If this was an interview, you'd kill it. <laughs> <laughs> I miss your podcast and all the birds outside the window. <laughs> that's um, incredible. Uh, well, you know, I mean, I'm kind of sad. I am getting a sign in here. It's going to look. Uh, yeah, no, I'm very excited to see where this, uh, this podcast goes. This is the second episode. Second episode. Who's your third guest? My girlfriend. No way. Madeline Petch. That's so exciting. You think? Yeah, that's, that's the best. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, let me see. Yeah. I, when, when I started my podcast, um, I was still with Liza and I was like, you're going to be you're gonna be my first guest. And it's, it's like a year later and like, no. Still no. Still no first guest. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's good. That's good that you're doing the girlfriend thing right away. That's what you should do. Well, no, I mean, you know, I feel like I, I wanted like people. Uh, How's your relationship? My relationship. People want to know that. How is it? It's awesome. How long man. have you guys been together? We've been together for a year and I want to say like eight months. Where'd you guys meet? Uh, Facebook. What? <laughs> what do you? What do you mean? Zoom in on his face. Facebook. Okay, check this out. So I auditioned for Riverdale for for the pilot. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, this is, a, this is like fucking three years ago. Uh, this is in like 2015. Okay. That's crazy. So then fast forward. Cause you know, it takes a long time to make shows and all that shit. Uh, 2017, the beginning of the year I'm on Facebook and, uh, I see her profile picture and it was a picture of her on set, like on Riverdale. And we had a mutual friend in common, so it, like it popped on, on my oh, thing. Oh, okay. So I was like, "Oh fuck, that's the show that I like went for." You, you just know? messaged her, "Fuck you." That was my role. Yeah, I was like, "Fuck you." I want f- <laughs> I'm Cheryl Blossom. <laughs> uh, no, so yeah, I messaged her and I was like, "Oh my god!" Like, "Hey, congrats!" You know, like the show looks really good because, dude, it was like a big. You know, I, I'd been hearing about it for a long time, sure, and sure. everyone's like, "Oh, this is gonna be awesome." So it made me feel like an even bigger piece of shit for not getting it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and she didn't write back. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it was cold. So was, then what it happened? Like, it was a cold January. So then you showed up at her house. No, check day. it out. So then eventually, <laughs> like two weeks later, I think she was like, oh, hey, thanks. Da, 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 da. And then uh, I was out at a nightclub, like wow. d- drunk, okay, at like one in the morning. And I saw a redhead from across the nightclub. So I go on Facebook because I didn't have her number. And I was like, hey, are you at this club? And she just writes back, No. <laughs> and she was at home uh, with her parents in Washington, right? 
But oh. I know if I wasn't drunk, I wouldn't be so bold. And I was like, well, if you were here, I'd give you my number, but you're not. You know, I'd come up to you and give you my Whoa. number, but you're not. So da 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 da. Cool. Didn't text me. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a couple days later, uh, I'm in the. I was like working out with my buddy, and I get a, a text from like a random number, and um, she's like, "Hey, it's Madeline." I'm like, "Oh, hey, what's up? You know, what are you doing?" She's like, "Oh, I'm, I'm like literally about to fly back to LA." And I was like, cool. Uh, what are you doing tonight? She's like, I don't, I don't know. And I was oh, like, well, do you want to go, you know, do you, like we should go get, like see a movie or something. She's like, okay. What'd you guys do? You went to go see a movie? Check this out. So I'm ready. I let her I love pick stories. <laughs> <laughs> I let her pick the movie. Uh, it was. Uh, the, the Big Sick. No, dude. It was awful though. It was uh, oh, awful fuck. movies. The awful movies. It was a two and a half hour movie. It was a one about like fucking a doctor. You know what's crazy is I for Christmas is I bought her the DVD of the movie. Oh, cute. Yeah, and like rat. She hated the movie too. I'm assuming, right? Well, listen, it was good that we went there because it was a two and a half hour movie. We talked the whole fucking time. Oh, great. Because it, it was honestly sucked. So I let her pick it, and uh, I bought the tickets in advance, like without telling her. And that's one thing she tells me now. She's like, you know, when I like knew, like you were like amazing. I was like, what? She's like, when you just like bought the tickets, like didn't ask me, like you know, did it. I just told you what movie. Oh, you Bottom. I was like, okay, cool. That's just me just being in just, just fucking. There's a tip, guys. Just buy tickets for people. <laughs> you meet a girl at a club, be like, I already bought the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> it's like, hey, I'm David. Uh, I booked the wedding chapel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm David. We have a movie in 25 minutes. You gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I wonder if that would work. <laughs> wow. Oh, that actually does seem pretty smooth. Pretty smooth, right? Hey, I'm David. Uh, I bought our ticket. Yeah, that is very smooth. Yeah. Come pretty to think smooth. of it. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Sorry, continue. It could have gone wrong. <laughs> so we talked the whole movie, and by then it was like ele it was like eleven or like. Sorry, I want to. Was it? Uh, I pick movie theater like lay down seats, or was it a regular? Movie no, theater? it was actually. Dude, you could see. You could see it. It's. Uh, it's arc light. Arc light. Where? Where is it? No, I. I know. It's, it's other side. We are looking at it over there. Oh god, that's amazing. Let's stop the podcast and go look at Let's it. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, okay. So. I get teary. I just thinking about it. <laughs> uh, and so after the movie, uh, I was like, uh, do you want to go to swingers? Um, okay. You know what swingers is? Yes. I've been there once. Okay. It's a diner for everyone listening. It's not no crazy sex party. Yeah. It's not Dom. It's not David and Dom's house. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's a, it's a diner. They have a lot of vegan options. It's open 24 hours. Uh, so we went there and we ended up standing there till like one thirty, just talking. Uh, oh, wow. Wow. That's, you hit it off. Yeah. Oh no. We were like, yeah, we were in the zone. And, um, I, I was like, well, you know, it's probably time I get you back. Dropped her off at home. Didn't try to kiss her. Didn't nice. Like that. Uh, and we hung out every day since. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Every day. Since? I mean, I mean, not like, it's like, been, no, no, no. Wow. Every day that she was in LA, like on hi on hiatus. Yeah. We, we hung out oh. every day since then. That is so cool. Well, congratulations. Thanks. That's so fucking exi exciting. Facebook. Facebook, huh? Right? Who would have thought? Thanks, Mark Zuckerberg. That is that is pretty dope, though. The and old. It's a very old way. Yeah, of you're probably the last person that has met anyone on Facebook. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's it. That's incredible. And the, the whole club thing is pretty funny. That's exactly how I would imagine something going. Are you at this club? No. No. Oh, cool. No. But like no like response. Just no. Period. Like uh, <laughs> in a mat. Like she was sitting at home with her mom, like in bed. Like oh my god, how fucking lame is this guy? Like at a fucking Hollywood club, like messaging me on Facebook at one a.m. Sir. And you're dating me. <laughs> <laughs> so jokes on you. Jokes on you. Awesome. Um, yeah, and sometimes she'll try to go back and read our old Facebook messages, and it's very cringy. And I oh yeah, I don't want anything to do with that, dude. Oh my god, when I go back to my old Facebook messages, it's fucking, it's horrendous. It's bad. I've used the word horrendous like six times, I think, today. It's very bad. Like 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 when I used to talk to like girls in like high school and even like middle school. Like it is, it's a mess. I, I don't even want to repeat How the stuff I've said. How old are you? I'm uh, 14. <laughs> 22. Okay, because I'm 29. So yeah, okay. I'm trying to think of like when I was in middle school and when I was in, you know, I stopped going to high school when I was 16. I graduated super early. Oh, wow. Uh, Everyone in LA here like stopped going to high school. But um, but I didn't have Twitter. I wasn't on Twitter. No, we but were you Snap. on? Do you have Facebook? Uh, MySpace. But uh, yeah. yeah, MySpace and Facebook. But like, yeah, I just, I can't imagine like growing up on like being snapped at school and like doing, going through all that shit. Snapchat at school was, I think the best. Was it? Yeah, it was amazing. It was, it was, that was the best way to talk to your friends. Like you can, you can literally like imagine like, I would love to be, I would love to do what I do now and still be in high school. Like imagine me being able to make YouTube videos in high school. That'd and, be so fun. Yeah. That'd be, uh, this should, that's, uh, high school was like one of the best times. Do you think life. you could? Do you think that a high school would let you walk around with a camera and shit? No, they, they won't even let me come back. 
Wait, I was going to say, you just went home for, for yeah. the holidays, right? Yes. You hijacked a parade. That was here. Oh, that was here? <laughs> that was in LA. No. I, I got that done before I left. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was, yeah, that was in LA. We, uh, we got kicked out of a parade. And then we snuck right back into it, into the middle of it. We borrowed a golf cart from our friend <laughs> and we drove right down the middle of the parade waving to everybody else. And the best here. part is that the cops are waving at you guys. And the like cops waving play. to us. It, it, was, it was like straight out of like, like a PG version of like Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> and why won't your old high school let you go back? Um, we, I went back once to film a video with my teacher and I think it was like, it was like a really weird distraction where like students from other schools came to say hello. And it, it, it got to the point- like the rival, the football team's rivals. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who it was, but like there, uh, the dean came up to me and he's like, David, there are kids doing donuts in the parking lot. And I'm not making this up. As he was saying that, uh, the car drove right by, basically on the sidewalk of our school with a guy on the hood of the car screaming, <laughs> like out of a movie. David! And I was like, oh my fucking, and I was like, I'm leaving. I'm so sorry. And he's like, yes, please don't come back. We love you, but please don't come back. And I was like, okay. So yeah, so now I can't go back. But it was- They can't organize like a David Dobrik day? <laughs> That'd be a pretty fucking lame day. <laughs> <laughs> what would, I don't know what we would do. A David Dobrik day. Um, um, yeah, but yeah, now I avoid it. But now my, my, uh, my siblings are going to high school there. So I think I'm gonna have to show up for graduation or something. Is it hard for them? Like, do they, do they get like a lot of like weird, like fans and stuff? I don't know. I mean, my sister always complains about like, fake friends wanting to be friends with her just because like they watch my videos or something. But I, I don't know. I, I, that's, that's a weird problem. See, my have. sister <laughs> liked that attention. That's what I'm when, saying. When, no, she, no, but she, she liked, like I would come home to my parents' house sometimes like years ago and like a fan that like had like bought in like a bunch of meat and greet, like, you know, I knew them, right. Would be like in my mom's kitchen, like doing my sister's hair. Oh really? Yeah. And I try to be like, like, I would just be so, I'd be like, what, sure, like, sure, what, sure. what's going, the fuck? Mom, who are you letting in the house? The and it was like, oh, it's your sister's friend. I'm like, no. Yeah. Ugh. No, my, my, my sisters hated it. All my siblings have actually like, one of them has like cried about it. Like, it's just like, she like, she, she only has fake friends, which is like very interesting. And I guess I really don't see it from her shoes. So I can't really, you know, touch up on it. But to me, like that would be like in high school, if like people wanted to be my friends, I feel like that would just make things easier you know, whether, that, whether or not they're, Fake or not. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> I don't know. You'll just take all the friends you could get. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. I don't care if you don't really like me, but if you pretend, it makes me feel good. Do you feel like doing your podcast live, like in front of an audience? Uh, oh, we're doing that this weekend. As I know. Is it, is it, is it, what, what is it more yes. nerve wracking? Cause you're, I, it's crazy to me that you're like, I don't know if I could have a guest, but you can go in a fucking huge venue it's and hor- sit on stage Dude, it's and do a podcast. It's the worst. A podcast on stage is, is nerve wracking. I mean, it's like, it's so, it makes me so nervous. But once you get up on a stage, I'm sure you know this. It's like, like you're so nervous before. I, I feel like I don't care who you are. I was shaking before we started rolling, sitting here with you. Yes, no. <laughs> yeah, th- that too. But I feel like e- even if you're like Ariana Grande, I'm sure like you're nervous out of your mind the first second. But then once you get on the stage, it's like so simple. For sure. But like, oh my God, planning for those live shows is, is horrendous. So do you have like a little, you have a little checklist? No, not at all. Oh, okay. we, we don't plan till like the hour of because I don't want to even think about it because it just stresses me out. Like, what's the point? Um, so yes, yeah, we have no idea what we're doing for the show this Saturday or Sunday. Even the venue is just like, we need, what do you guys want? At least in the green room, just fucking tell us. Well, I want to know what's on David Dober's rider. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just Jack Daniels and Corona for my friends. Nice. And Chex Mix Bold. I love Chex Mix Bold. Um, uh, that's it. Literally, that's it. It's so simple. Wow. I'm, yeah, you're the easiest wait, person. Wait, what, what, what do people get on the rider? Like, what do like big pop stars get? Oh, I mean, like green M and M's only. Oh, actually. Oh yeah. You want to get you want to get bougie, David Dobrik? Oh, oh, we could get bougie. Wait, is that what people do? Oh, dude. I'm gonna start asking. Yo, that. you can have you can have underwear in your green room. You can have like yo, if you like like if I'd go play a show, right? Like towels, socks, like yeah, my, all the time. Wow, cool. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna use this as a shopping. Swishers, like like blunts, like like cigars. Wow. You know, uh, a bunch of shit. I need fresh fruit, Chipotle. You can put Chipotle on your rider. Chipotle, half a pound of broccoli, steamed carrots. I need three <laughs> large black t-shirts, two pairs of socks. Have you always been into documenting your food? And a Volkswagen Beetle. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I just started. Okay. My Instagram food reviews? Yes. Yes, they're a big I'm hit. a fan. Guys, please go check out my Instagram. I do these food reviews on there and it's incredible. Um, I don't review the food. I just show you guys my food. Um, people, are, people are living for it. I feel like you eat like just all the time because I'm always watching them. I do eat very, very unhealthy. 
Well, you order like- Sometimes I don't even show Instagram my food because it's so unhealthy. I was going to say, sometimes you don't even eat it. You just get it so you can Instagram it. I, I've done that. Really? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but like, yeah, sometimes, yes. Yeah, like yesterday I, I had a large pizza to myself and I just didn't Instagram it because I'm like, I just had a pizza the other day. People are going to think I'm crazy. So I was like, I don't want people seeing this. I want to get down uh, on a mukbang. Ugh. Those are a lot of work. Yeah. My friends like doing those with me. And it's a lot of work because it's like, it's a lot of unhealthy food. And mm -hmm. I've had really bad situations afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I, uh, situations where I'm actually going to need that underwear sponsor that you yeah. talked about earlier. <laughs> so I'm glad. I'm glad you. Hey, use code ADHD. It's a 20% off at checkout. Okay, good. I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. We can do a mug thing now. <laughs> Just after I shit myself. Uh, uh, last thing uh, I want to talk to you about is uh, is the Tesla, dude. Because I really, yeah. I'm, I'm look, I want one. Get one. I mean, <laughs> look at you. You're doing a podcast and basically in the, the Sears Tower of buildings in LA. What if I got a Tesla and just did a podcast in the Tesla? I've done that before. Have you? Yes, it's the best. Very really? good bus. Actually, uh, what's amazing about the Tesla is there was a there's a HEPA filter on it, right? So, in the in the AC? Yeah, in the AC. So if there's ever like a chemical attack on the United States, you can filter out the air. I think I told you about this. No. So so there was the the fires that were going on, um, like outside in Calabasas and everywhere. Yeah. And it was like, it smelled like a bonfire outside. And we drove like right into the fire area because we wanted to see what was up. And Because um, you're crazy. <laughs> sure. Yeah. And and we turned on the HEPA filter and it was the clearest air you can breathe. It we It's like we weren't, like the, the, literally the, the inside of the car, it was like ashy. Like it was that gross inside. And then we turned the filter on and within like 45, 50 seconds, it was completely clean air. I want to hotbox a Tesla. Oh, you can. You hotbox the Tesla, you turn on the filter and all the, all the weed and all oh, the smoke dude. goes out and you oh. clean it out. And okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I Sold. <laughs> Do you smoke a lot of weed? Yeah. Wow, I don't. I envy people that can like function on weed. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I've definitely smoked in my day, but it's just like the the second I smoke, I'm gone. I'm out. Like I can't. I have to go take a nap. Oh really? Oh yeah. Oh no. So see, I yeah, I've yeah smoked since I was because yeah, dude, ADHD. They tried to put me on Ritalin and Adderall and all that shit, and I hated that shit when I was growing up. It made me feel like a zombie. So when I was that's so insane that weed makes you feel like not a zombie. No. No, like you'll never, yeah, you'll never know. So when I was 18, I got my medical card. My mom's, you know, she's, uh, she, at the time she was a nurse. So, Very supportive. You know, uh, no, my parents, I got, dude, I got oh. drug tested and failed every drug test when I was growing up. All oh, from, really? we all just weed, but, oh, okay, okay. uh, and grounded and like all that, like, dude, yeah. I feel so bad for the people that are in jail currently right? for weed. Yes. That's so fucking unfair. I know. It's insane. My friend, uh, I'm not going to say his name, but he got arrested. This is a couple years ago. Probably like f uh, five, six, seven years ago. But he got arrested for two grams of weed. Uh, and I'm saying like, no, cops like kicked in his door and like fucking butt. Like he was seven, 18. Brutal. Yeah. Was in there for like 10 months. Really? Yes. 10 months? Yes. Because he gave his homie some weed for 20 bucks, right? His homie got pulled over and popped, like, you know, got busted. And they're like, yo, give us, you know, who gave this to you? And, and you're good. And His homie snitched. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> That's like a bad snitch. Why it's a bad, <laughs> it's, it's, it, it's a worse snitch than like you ratting out a murderer because it's like, it's like 20 bucks of weed. It's weed. Like just take the rap for it. Like, don't, don't do that. Poor guy. Was, <laughs> was your, was your friend pissed at his homie? I don't think they're homies. I've never used the word homie like that. That was weird coming out of my mouth. <laughs> what do you say? Friend? Can you edit that out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I say friend. Or... Hey, just bleep that out. Just put a big bleep. bleep or... What did he say? <laughs> he said homie, but there's no way. It's a bleep. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, yeah. We got to free all those people. I feel like they're, they're going to, I feel like they must be coming out of jail, right? Like the warrants of these prisons must be like, oh yeah, get the fuck out Dude, of here. Dude, that's a whole issue that's so fucked up, man. Like just the whole prison system and, and the whole social, like, oh, yeah. the whole justice system. I don't know enough form. about it, but I've heard I've heard stories of Same. being messed up. Yeah. Uh, actually, this dude uh, who I was signed to, his name's Jason Flom. Uh, he runs this organization, this charity that helps uh, free wrongfully convicted uh, nice. prisoners. So who are serving life sentences, who are on death row, who have like DNA evidence that, you know, has been overturned, but maybe, you know, they need another look at Dude, it. Dude, that doesn't sound real to me. How could you possibly be serving death row Yo. As, as someone who didn't do anything? I know. I want to look it up that, because— That's a nightmare. 
it, it, in my mind, those people must have been the shittiest people in their past life. And this must be their hell. Because there's, there's no way, there's no way that's like a reality for somebody like that. I can't wrap my head around being completely innocent and going to jail for the rest of my life. Yep. Uh, you know what? Wow. And he also uh, he also has a podcast too. It's called Wrongful Conviction with Jason Flom. So if you guys are, are oh, cool. in all that, check that out. He's a really good guy. Um, and yeah, he runs Lava Records. He's signed some of the biggest artists like ever. Maybe he can sign me. Yeah. <laughs> would you do music? Um, no. Yeah, I know we talked about that before. And you're like, <laughs> I mean, I would if someone would like like auto tune my voice perfect. I, my biggest dream is to be a singer. Really? But like I can't sing. I also can't act. But like. You know, it's still, my, it's still a dream. It's still a dream. I, I would love to be an astronaut, but I can't hold my breath for more than 30 seconds. So that probably won't work either. <laughs> you don't need to hold your breath to be an astronaut, no? do you? Get the fuck out of here, actually. <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> fuck, maybe I'm going to. Uh, Shit, just... okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, you know, today was really fun. You made the second episode. Of eight. You've you've made sure that this shit doesn't just tank, you know? Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what I did, but. I, I can hold out for like a couple more episodes. Oh, I'm so glad. But yeah, thank you for having me. I'm yeah. so pumped to be here. Oh. I love waking up early and uh, <laughs> coming to this fucking place in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay. Uh, David Dobrik, I really appreciate you. Uh, views podcast. Uh, yeah, go check all out the of Views your socials, podcast. YouTube. Go watch the vlogs. Go watch them. Um, anything else? No, that's it. <laughs> Just go check out the podcast. <laughs> I think that's the most important thing. I plug on another podcast. Stop listening to this shit. And if you ever go, have- go listen to views, <laughs> <laughs> go listen to views. Peace out. Uh, but thank you guys. I'll see you later. Hey.